Look at the time, it's eight o'clock with Rob Hunter. Rob Hunter. Um, this is something that I've been really looking forward to. Uh, fans of the show will be aware that we often like to read a scene from a movie that I've written. Um, <laughs> but last year we came to the finale of my screenplay. The good news is I've written a prequel. Okay. Um, and I'd love to read a, see, read a scene with you from that. Is that something you'd like to? Yeah, I'd love with? to do that. Great. It'd be really fun. Um, and there's a role for Frank Woodley in this as well. Can we get Frank Woodley back here, please? <laughs> so this is, uh, this is very exciting. Like the last movie, uh, this is another gritty cop drama uh, set in the mean streets of downtown America. Um, but this time, we're in a police academy, uh, a bit like that movie, Police Academy 5. Uh, Deanne, you play a young Kit Jackhammer, and Frank, you play the new character of Gumbleton. And where previously the characters were established agents, now you are two brand new recruits trying to join the force. And I play the terse but lovable uh, police captain in charge of your training. Uh, keep your eye out for some actions along the way. Deanne, that's okay, yours. Thank you. Uh, Frank, that's thank your you. script. Uh, so everybody, ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy the very first reading of my brand new movie, Police School Operation Balls. <laughs> <laughs> Cadets, welcome to police school. First things first, roll call. Kit Jackhammer. I'm here, sir, you hot mother crunkin' piece of sex ass. <laughs> hey, you watch your tone in the workplace, Jackhammer. Although your comments are a good reminder that certain things we say here in this time period are more acceptable than they might be in future. <laughs> and where's Gumbleton? Gumbleton! Uh, sorry I'm late, sir. I was busy watching The Cosby Show without concern and treating minorities poorly. Again, that's understandable based on current attitudes, but we may want to rethink these things in coming years. Now listen, cadets. It's my job to turn you into good cops. Lesson one, thinking on your feet. As a police officer, officer you have to make snap decisions. Oh no! Jackhammer, it's a perp with a hostage. Quick, what do you do? We could create a distraction, sir. Good idea. How? First, I suggest Gumbleton turn his head to the right and then not turn around no matter how badly he wants to. Do you understand Gumbleton? Yeah, I think I understand, yeah. It didn't work, but a distraction is a good idea. Quick, Jackhammer, if police have training you... movies have taught hold us... Hold on, hold on. Have you done it yet? <laughs> we'll talk about this later. <laughs> if police training movies have taught us anything, it's that officers are great at doing voices. Quick, Jackhammer, try your famous Michael Caine impression. Uh, hello, I'm Michael Caine. <laughs> Wait, maybe wearing your Michael Caine mask will help. Good golly gosh, put that bloody thing down. You are so naughty. Uh, I'm sorry again about the stupid bow tie that I'm probably wearing. It worked. Oh, good. Great. Well done, Jack Hammer. Very impressive, Jack Hammer. Thanks, Captain. I bought voice lessons with the money I saved cutting my own hair and stealing my clothes from the corpses of elderly men. <laughs> money well spent. All right, lesson two. Weapons training. Gumbleton, you're up. Right. <laughs> now for this lesson, you're going to pretend to be undercover. Now, in the course of undercover duty, you might have to say and do some bad things, Gumbleton. <laughs> but remember, you can choose any name you like to conceal your identity. <sighs> I choose Frank Woodley. All right, Frank. <laughs> now, the key is to always aim the gun at approaching targets regardless of how non-threatening they seem. <laughs> 
but only fire at what you consider a violent danger to humanity. Got it, Captain! <laughs> oh, okay. Good work, Frank. That woman should pose no threat to you. She is just a harmless immigrant who supports marriage equality. <laughs> Bloody heck, Frank, what are you doing? I disagree with everything that scumbag woman stands for. <laughs> My name is Frank Woodley, just to confirm. <laughs> oh no! Jackhammer, you've taken a bunch of shrapnel to the face. No, sir, this is just what I look like. Well, that's a relief. You know, you have a lot to learn, and I may be crazy, but I think the two of you could be good cops. And I may be crazy, but sometime I put my finger in my own butthole and pretend I'm a <laughs> beaver plugging a poo dam. That, that kind of honesty will serve you well on the force, kid. I think you two could be a great team. How would you feel about being partners? Honestly, Captain, normally the only time I work in a duo is when my solo career has stagnated badly. <laughs> but in this case, I can make an exception. That's great to hear. The world needs protectors, and I think it's great that you two have answered the call. And I think it's great that toilets exist, otherwise my kitchen sink would be constantly full of my own shit. <laughs> Good to focus on the positives, kid. Well, this almost concludes our training for the day, but consider for a moment the possibility that someone ordered stunt bottles and the man who made them gave you an extra one that was slightly deformed, making you too afraid to use it in case of injury. But if someone were to use it willingly on themselves, well, then you see the risk and liability issues disappear completely. <laughs> Hypothetically, wouldn't it be a shame not to use it? I have to say, I think it's a bad idea. Yes, maybe you're right, Jackhammer. It's a shame, but honestly, I also think it's a bad idea. And I couldn't disagree with you both more. <laughs> And we end on that note, setting up all kinds of adventures. Can I get a huge round of applause for Frank Woodley and Deanne Smith? That was the time it was 8 o'clock with Rob Hunt.